What's going on everybody? Working on this Ford Taurus X. I uh, noticed a light bulb was out on the lower left here of the tachometer. Uh, not a big deal to remove the instrument cluster. It's pretty self-explanatory. You know, you got a couple of screws that face up and then you remove that big plastic fascia right there. You know, you may have to drop the uh, steering wheel all the way down as far as the tilt mechanism, but you got, you know, two little screws that'll be up there in the top and they're little tiny ones, uh, nine thirty seconds, I believe is the size, possibly a seven millimeter also will fit it. Um, and then to remove the entire cluster, you know, you got a plug here that you'll have to push this little tab down. It's kind of dark in here, so excuse the focus. You have to push that, it's a little tab when it's locked in place right up there at the top there you'll have to push that down you know you can use maybe your finger or a small screwdriver and then you'll work this arm over and then you can just pop this out this is the uh you know the the wiring harness for the top of it right there okay then to remove the cluster itself I had to slide it out inside the top of the steering wheel because it wouldn't quite fit, but it will fit. See, it will fit like this going through the steering wheel. Then it will fit down in there like so. And those screws are also down in here. Let me get a light. You got screws on all corners, basically the same size, little screws. So not that big a deal to remove it. You know, if you're noticing, you got lights out along the cluster here. Pull her out like so, go right through the uh, top of the steering wheel. Then you'll see on the back side, all these are the lights for the back side of the cluster. <clears throat> okay and you should be able to just twist them out you just loosen them you know they just twist you can usually do them by hand but you might have to use you know a small pair of pliers or something if they're a little stiff then it just pulls out like so now you're wondering when looking at that is this an entire assembly or just does that little bulb come out the bulb does come out okay I'll put this one back in and I'll show you what this looks like. They're, they can be a little difficult, you know, to work with. You have to put them in there. See, it's got little tabs and things that have to line up just right on that slotted section right there. And then it just t rotates. takes a little little boogering to, to get it to sit in there and then just turn it about a half a turn and then it'll then it'll it sort of forces itself in there anyway the issue is some of those little bulbs which are tiny little things number I believe it's the number 37 I'll put a link down below it's a little bitty thing see itty bitty little bulb but you do have to remove just the bulb and if that bulb will not come out by hand be careful because they will break as you see yeah they if you can see this here the bulb sometimes is a little tricky to get out of the socket and what I found is the easiest way, if you don't break it, that is, but if you're, you know, if you're trying not to break it off, get a little pick like this, something really slim and skinny, and you should be able to just go around the side of it and just pry it out, Oop, like so. Just pry the bulb out of this little socket here. Okay, so something tiny, itty bitty little thing. And it should come out because sometimes they're a little sticky. If you try to pull them out by hand, you know, they're just not coming. And you try to use some pliers or something and you just break the bulb off. So be careful. 
doing that. Uh, but the, the new one, little bitty thing. Um, I'll put a link below for where you can get the bulb. And it's very self-explanatory. It just forces right in. Just push it in. You know, maybe a little wiggle. And you just shove it down in there. No big deal. Now, I, whenever I do bulbs and things, I try to wipe any oil off of them. So make sure your hands are clean. Because if your hands are oily and you put oily residue on the tip of the bulb it makes them hotter i think it shortens the life of the bulb personally so i always try to wipe any kind of bulb off uh you know of any oil and then it's gonna be, for this one it's gonna be this little guy right here so we just you know you'll match the tabs up with the little slots Pretty, uh, pretty basic. A little push and then a half of a turn and it sets in place. There you go. Uh, now, if you've got more than one out, you might as well replace all of them. I mean, it's not a big deal to remove the instrument cluster, but if you're going to do one, you might as well do them all, you know, get it over with. You know, just get you a pack of these bulbs, probably on, I'll put an Amazon link where you can get these bulbs, but they're also available at most auto parts stores and, you know, the usual places you buy uh, automotive light bulbs. But it's only got, what, two, four, six, eight. There's only eight of them, but you might as well do them all because if they're all original, it's likely they're going to burn out about the same time, give or take a few weeks or months. So you might as well do it, you know? And then putting it back in place, no big deal. Put the pigtail back in the, or you know, of course we'll shove the guy back in here. Okay, try to do this one-handed here. Put the cluster in, you know, face down, go through the top of the steering wheel, move the pigtail out of the way there. Just layer in. It's got little tabs also. See those little tabs right next to the screw holes? That's where they line up. So that's, you know, very self-explanatory. And then a couple of screw holes in the top. Right there. And right there with these little, you know, little 7 millimeter screws right here. Little fellers. Uh, of course, you know, let's plug the guy in first you know so you'll put your wiring pigtail in the top it also has a little button right there that'll go in that little hole i know it's hard to see difficult to see in the early morning hours here uh, make sure that little arm That little arm right there, make sure it is down at first. Then give it a nice firm push. That arm will lift up. Then push it all the way over till it locks in place. You'll hear, I mean, you can do this with the battery disconnected, but honestly, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, you'll hear the tachometer start to actuate a little bit, you know, as soon as you plug it in. Perfectly normal. There we go, that little button right back there on the left. There it is, it pops in that little hole. Then set her all back in place. Just make sure there's no binding, you know, make sure it fits in there as it should. And uh, self-explanatory and then the black little screws right there go up in the top. The little 930 seconds or 7 millimeter. And uh, that's that. But there we go. I just replaced that one bulb on the lower left, and there it is. All right. That's that. I know it's a little difficult because it's dark and whatnot, but that's the basics. It's not that difficult, but I just want to show you in case you've never done it before. Not that hard a job. 
that's it. Check out other videos on this car. We got all kinds of videos on the Ford Taurus X wagon, uh, Ford Mustang, Chevy trucks, Harley Davidsons. You know, we do all kinds of cool videos on stuff, things that may help you fix things around the house or out in the yard or in the shop or on a motorcycle or all kinds of stuff. Uh, and that's it. So that's it for now. Biker Dave working on the Ford Taurus X. Y'all have a good day. We shall see you and happy new year. Y'all, uh, try not to party too hard out there. We'll see you.